Tuhoy. So we're here at Juniper to taste the new tasty. Let's get it on and try some Middle Eastern Persian cuisine. Wow, wow, wow. Masawak. Uhoy! <laughs> so, nakita nyo naman sa likod ko. Dito tayo ngayon sa Juniper. So today, we're gonna try the mid some Middle Eastern cuisine. Uh, Middle Eastern and Persian to be exact. So, uh, we're here at uh, Juniper, as you can see uh, behind me. Uh, the Juniper is uh, serving Middle Eastern and Persian cuisine. Uh, as far as I know, this is the most authentic of all the uh, Middle Eastern cuisine uh, here in uh, the culinary capital of the Philippines, uh, Pampanga. Uh, because the owner himself created the menu and he is uh, from, the, uh, from the Middle East. So from there, we can tell that uh, it's definitely authentic, right? So here at Juniper, of course, we decided to come here first because you want to taste the new tasty, right? So, let's get it on! Of course. We're gonna, first, we're going to try this one. The beef shawarma. You see that big chunks of meat? Those, that's beef, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, Try opening it up. So there's beef, tomatoes, some garl uh, garlic mayo, and some onions. Now let's try it. First bite of the Middle Eastern cuisine at Juniper. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good one. You see that thick beef? Mm. That's a lot of beef. That's the meat in the shawarma that you can't get anywhere else. That's a lot of beef. That's really good. Now we're gonna try something uh, with garlic mayo. Mmm. Mm. So much stuff that it's oozing out from behind. <laughs> wow, this is really good. Comes really well with the shawarma. Mm. And the level of spiciness, it's on point, really good. It's not too spicy. It's perfect for uh, those uh, Filipinos that love spicy. So it's on that level. It's perfect. It's per perfectly spiced. Mm. 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 That's how good it is. So good. I love it. Uh, this plate right here, this uh, shawarma plate with the, the fries, uh, this is 199 pesos. So 199 pesos, uh, more like uh, $4 in USD. So uh, the price is actually uh, not good, uh, not bad. It's uh, it's it's something that you uh, that's worth to pay on uh, the quality of uh, the quality of the shawarma, the meat inside, with the fries. I would say the price is uh, it's just right for the level and the quality of the shawarma that they serve here for uh, four dollars hundred and ninety nine pesos. It's not bad. It's actually uh, good. I highly recommend this one. 
Now we're gonna try the cheese naan. See how thin the cheese naan is? So I'm guessing the cheese is inside. There you are. That's the cheese, right? So some cheese on a very thin naan. First, let's gonna try without the uh, Indian curry. Let's gonna try just this one. Tastes like uh, the typical bread uh, with some cheese in it. With this alone, uh, it's I would say it's quite plain. That's why they serve it with this Indian curry. Now let's try it with the Indian curry. Looks really spicy. That's a little salty. Actually, not it's not spicy at all. Just a little bit. See that? Mm. That's that's good too. Mm. I like this one too. It comes really well with this. Uh, put it there. This is how you should do it. Just dip it in there, like that. Oozing with Indian curry. Looks like this Indian curry has some cheese in it. So let's give it a, another bite. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's good. Now, let's go to this. I've been waiting to try this mutton biryani for a long time now. I've been waiting to try this mutton biryani for a long time now. When I'm when I'm saying that I've been waiting because I've, uh, I've been looking for something that is authentic, authentic as just like this one. So it's really hard to find something that is authentic. I can tell that it's it's authentic because of course the owner, the person that created this menu, is from Middle East, right? <laughs> so you can never go wrong on that. So let's give it a shot. They they actually give us some spoon and fork. So I'm guessing uh, we should be eating it by hand. I'm just guessing, but because they didn't serve us any uh, spoon and pork. Uh, they actually have a wash area. So if it, uh, giving the given the consideration, I guess I should be eating this by hand, which is no problem for me. This is the mutton biryani. Mutton is basically goat. So these are big chunks of goat meat. Look at that. Some collagen. Some meat. First bite. <coughs> First bite of the mutton biryani. Mm. That is so juicy. So juicy and so tender that I don't even need to reuse my teeth and butt. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Wow. Lovely. Try the Try the that is very good. See? See that? That's how ten that's how tender it is. 
just move out of the bone. <laughs> I'm gonna try having some marrow. Fortunately, I can't because there's no hole on the other end. Wow. Mm. I love this. Egg, garlic and onion. Mm. So good. I love this. But of course, I gotta try the beef biryani. Look at that. Let's reveal the beef. See that? Those are big chunks of beef. Wow, it looks really good. This time I'm gonna pour uh, this. I'm not sure if this is actually deep or something that you need to pour in it, but since I have it, I'm gonna try pouring it in the on my beef with the rice in it. Let's try pouring it here. Let's see. I'm also gonna put some uh, calamansi or to add some citrus in it. Now let's try the beef biryani first bite. That's actually really good if you put those uh, put that uh, sauce in the rice. Mm. Especially with the calamansi, tastes much much better. I should go back to my favorite, which is the mutton. I'm gonna focus on this one for now. You gotta come here and try this. So good.
A few moments later. You can taste the herbs in this biryani. I love this biryani. There are a lot of herbs in it, and you can really taste those herbs. So good. Final bite. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Really, really good. See how clean my plate is? That's how good it is. Good job, Jennifer, for putting up these delicious meals. Great job. So I just finished washing my hands. And I asked uh, one of the staff, and uh, uh, I just asked her about uh, the proper way of uh, eating their meals here because. Uh, I know Indians and uh, some Middle Eastern countries are also uh, eating, uh, they usually eat by hand. So uh, I asked uh, the staff if uh, we ate it the proper way because uh, the, the lady that served the meals uh, didn't give, uh, give a spoon and fork. So guess what, I, I asked her if we ate it the right way using our hands but no. <laughs> She told me that uh, they just forgot about it. They just forgot to uh, give us some spoon and fork. So, <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. We enjoy the meal, and uh, some, uh, it's cool to uh, just eat your meals uh, by hand from time to time, you know. So, I really enjoy the meal, so it's okay. But I didn't realize, uh, although, of course, it's um, partly uh, it's my fault because I didn't ask uh, for the spoon and fork before I started the meal. I just assumed that that's the proper way is eating by hand, but no. You can actually eat it if you wanna. If you're not used to eating by hand, you can just ask for spoon and fork here. So it's okay. It's fine. I still enjoy the meal. So good job, Jennifer, uh, for serving us some great meals today. Babayo. We're going back next time. We're gonna eat some more. So here we are at the second location. Pups are up. Look at this place. It's so nice, so cozy, and looks very, very Middle Eastern style. Look at that. I would feel like a royal if I sit right there, right? <laughs> I love this place. Looks so nice, so cozy, so yayamanin, very yayamanin in lugar. But the price is actually cheap. Yeah, prices are really cheap. Let me show you the, the menu. So here's their menu. Rice are really cheap actually, to be honest. So this one is the Cub Sadilla. Look at that, wow. My god, it looks so awesome. And this one is, this is the Cub Sadilla Chicken. Wow, look at that beautiful rice. Chicken looks great. Of course, let's not forget about the beef shawarma. Yes, look at that. It has some fresh fries, a beef, lettuce. I'm not sure what kind of sauce is that. Probably some garlic, mayo, onions. Looks, looks great. 
Let's try the quesadilla first. Looks good. Wow. Mmm. So cheesy. It's oozing with sauce. It's dripping in sauce. Let's try it with this. I'm guessing this is probably a garlic mayo sauce. That is so good, so cheesy, so meaty, wow, wow, it's oozing with cheese, some beef, onions, uh, pepper, and some herbs that I don't know, probably celery, let's get another one. This is so good. Need to get another one. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Mmm. I love it. Mmm. at the sauce, the oil, I'm guessing that's the oil from the cheese, so good, my god, it's more like, tastes like a, a combination of pizza and a quesadilla, yeah. that's how, uh, how good it is, so good, mmm, mmm, Wow. I love that. This cup it's uh, 269. It's so worth it. So good. Now, let's go with the shawarma. Look at that. It's so thick. <coughs> this is so thick. That's a lot of meat. French fry it has some French fries in it. Uh, cucumber, lettuce, onions. Let's try it. Mm. 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 Let's try it with the sauce. This is good too. Uh, it's just that uh, I think uh, they put too many uh, French fries on inside uh, on this one, but uh, it's it's good. It's a good shawarma. Now let's try the cubs of chicken. Let's see how uh, if it's still juicy. Wow, look at that oil. It's still so juicy. Let's try just the chicken. Let's see.
uh, the chicken alone it's a little plain uh, not much of a flavor in that let's try with the sauce so let's try the chicken with the sauce I'm not sure what kind of sauce is this yet so let's see The sauce is uh, it's blunt, not, not much of a taste in it, not even salt. So let me try putting in the lemon. So let's try with the lemon. Okay, let's try now. Mm, wow, that tastes a lot better with the lemon. It went from uh, tasteless and blunt to something delicious after putting in that lemon. Now, going to try with the rice. Let's try it now with the rice. Let's put some onions, tomatoes. Let's try it this way. Try that. First bite with the rice. Wow, that is good. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's a good one. So, um, I'm gonna finish up here, then we'll go to the next place. Look at how huge that burrito is. This is the biggest burrito I've seen so far. So big. Let me show you how big the burrito is compared to my fist. Oh my See? god! Wow! Half of it is as big as my fist. <laughs> so big. So huge. That's the biggest burrito I've had so far. Put some lemon. Let's try the beef kebab. Kebab. Mm. That's a good kebab.
Let's try the lamb masala. That's spicy. <sighs> if you're not a fan of a spicy food, then I suggest don't ask for the spicy. This lamb masala is, I'd say, oh, it's actually really juicy. Now let's check out the burrito. The giant burrito. Look at that. That's one big burrito. So this burrito has rice in it, some cheese, So add some pick, put some onions, Let's try this way. Mm. 
awkward. A few moments later. The lamb masala. Uh, I requested it. Uh, I requested spicy. Uh, but I think even without requesting it uh, to be spicy, uh, it will still it will still be a little bit spicy. But since I requested it to be spicy, it's actually uh, uh, a bit intense when it comes to spicy. So if you're not a fan of spicy food or anything too spicy, don't request. Uh, if you come here, don't request uh, spicy. Just uh, tell tell them to. Uh, just have uh, the regular one, uh, not the spicy one. This lamb masala actually comes really well with this uh, parata. It's actually uh, uh, it's not super thick. It's actually uh, uh, just just the right thick thickness, and uh, it's soft and uh, a little bit crunchy in the, on the outside. So it's perfect. Uh, it comes really well with this uh, masala. Uh, as for the so the burrito, uh, it's actually also good. Uh, it's just that uh, I think uh, it needs more meat, and uh, the rice is a little bit overpowering. So uh, there's too much rice in it. Uh, that's probably why it's so big. But uh, I would recommend. Uh, I think it's better if we they put more meat in it, and. Uh, uh, more vegetables, onions, cabbage, tomatoes, and yeah, the sauce is actually good too. Uh, as for this, uh, the beef kebab is actually really nice. It's so juicy, uh, so soft. Uh, the the taste is actually pretty good. Uh, it's not spicy at all. The sauce is also good. So I would recommend the beef kebab and uh, this uh, lamb masala. If you don't want uh, lamb masala, you can order beef or chicken. They also have chicken masala. Uh, they also have uh, mutton masala. If you want, uh, if you want mutton goat or basically kambing. Kung, kung gusto niyo ng kambing, pwede rin. Meron silang uh, masala na kambing ang gamit or mutton. Uh, they call it mutton in the Middle East. So just the parata. And this one is actually all, already good. If you order this one, it's perfect. Hi. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Arigyan dito. Peanuts. Ano ano talagang tayo? Arigyan dito sa warma. Peanuts dosa yun. Okay. Arigyan beef sa warma. So this is actually an Arabian beef shawarma. It's actually good. It's so big. It's so huge. Look at that. Look at how big it is. So this is their beef shawarma. It's so big. Wow. That is perfectly juicy. Let's check what's inside. So let's check what's inside this burrito. Okay. Here come. Here's the big reveal of their shawarma. Wow. Has some fries, ground beef, lettuce, cabbage, probably some onion. So it has some garlic, mayo, and some secret recipe, of course. Looks really good. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, 
we need to detach this part because it's still attached at the bottom part okay now let's try it let's try the burrito, beef burrito Wow. Mm. That's so tasty, so juicy. Beef is so good. That is so good, so juicy. I think I forgot to add this. Let's try it with this with lemon. So burrito with some lemon. Let's see. Actually, it tastes better with the lemon. So good. <laughs> you should be serving this with lemon. So, if you come here, order burrito. I highly recommend adding lemon in this one. It's really good. A few moments later. Just wanna say thank you to Chef. Chef, come here. Come here. Ano ah, pangalan mo, Chef? Uh, si Madge na lang po, si Madge. Si Madge. Yeah. Uh, yung pangalan mo, Chef, uh, papakilala natin yung talagang may-ari. Okay, July. Si Chef July. Yeah. So, napakasarap, napakasarap ng pagkain. Napakasarap okay. po ng pagkain nila. Highly recommended. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ito, pakilala natin yung totoong may-ari. Hello. That little guy right there is si Madge. The owner, the real owner of si Madge. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Simaj. This is the owner of Simaj. Middle East Kitchen, right? Say hi. Say hi. Come on. Say hi. Hi. This is the owner of Simaj. <laughs> hi. Hey, bro. Sorry. Hindi naman tayo masaya lang. Kahit may buwak pa yan. Ano? Ano? Bulbul? Kago. Buwak. Buwak yun. Kung bulbul yung kulot. Uy, sip. Thank you.